what is going on guys welcome back to another video uh if you are new here my name is nicole and i'm a real estate agent in the state of rhode island and massachusetts i'm bringing you all things real estate related lifestyle related uh mom on the go related i don't know we're doing it all here on this channel now so i honestly wasn't even going to film and then i just kind of decided while i'm at waiting for my clients at a showing right now that I think I'm just going to take you through a little bit of my day today and uh, just kind of show you what's going on. I am waiting for my clients, which is actually funny. It is my mom, my dad, and my grandma. My grandma's going to be potentially, not potentially, but my grandma's going to be selling her house and she's looking for a condo. And obviously she wants to stay close to my parents and me. So I found these condos that are literally like five minutes away from my house. They're all new construction. They're absolutely beautiful inside and they're all one floor. And so I'm showing my parents that with my grandma and because my dad was kind of like on the fence about buying a condo too. I know he talked about it, but I don't know if he's really going to go through with it. But this is actually cool and I'll show you, but it's like they're connected and there's only two available and the only two available are the ones that are actually like connected. So I'm waiting for them to come in so I can show them that. And um, yeah, and then after that, I'm actually going to be going door knocking with one of the other agents on my team. So I figured I'll take you through what door knocking looks like because uh, I personally have never gone door knocking, door knocking before. So I'm a little nervous, but I got to step out of my comfort zone because growth comes with stepping out of that comfort zone. So hopefully things go well with that. We already have a lot of our uh, materials and stuff that we're taking with us all completed. And I'll show you that when I get back at home and pick it up and then head to where we're going. And the agent's actually not here, it's on lock boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and kind of show you guys around before uh, my parents get here. But of course I stopped at Starbucks, got some Starbucks coffee because there's nothing like a coffee on a Sunday morning. It's already, it's 9.30. If there's nothing like coffee on any morning or afternoon or any day of the week, especially when you're working, trying to work full time and juggle having a newborn and all that. But at least my baby sleeps through the night. She sleeps a great like nine, 10 hours. So I honestly can't even complain about being tired because I get well enough sleep to get myself through the day. So, all right, enough rambling. I'm gonna go open up the doors and show you guys the inside of these new construction condos. First off, I want to say there's nothing like opening up a lockbox just for the door to already be open and almost breaking a nail. Um, so when you walk in, the alarms are um, beeping, but you walk into a nice big foyer area. This is beautiful. Wow, this bedroom is huge. This is the master bedroom. I love this tile flooring. I know it's really in right now. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then you can actually walk right up to your deck from your master bedroom as well. So I just showed the other one, but then I came in here and this one's so much better. So I wanted to show you guys this one. I love the whole layout of this one. It feels a lot bigger. In the one next door the light fixtures are beautiful it's a nice big open concept love the dark floors this is the master bedroom these floors you either love or hate them i personally love them i think it gives like a nice just it breaks it up a little bit then your traditional flooring you walk into a jacuzzi tub and a tiled walk-in shower and then it walks straight into the closet down there is just the washer and dryer uh, basement and the garage bedroom here Good size bedrooms. And then there is another bathroom right here as well. The same flooring. I personally like the style of this one a lot better. The only problem with this one is that there was already water in the basement. They do have sub pumps in there and the plumbing isn't completely done yet, but um, that's still kind of a concern considering we haven't really had that much water or rain, so. So this is what they look like, two-car garage on the outside, 
patio porch. This one's a little lower, so I'm curious if that's as to why there was water in the basement already. But, yeah. So I am just going to wait for them to get here, uh, show them around, see what they think. And then I'm gonna go off heading home to get all the stuff to go door knocking. And then I'll take you guys along the ride for that. So I'll see you in a little bit. So I just went home and grabbed the door hangers that we're going to be doing. Um, so this is the door hanger. I just stapled my car to the top of here um, and just looking to buy or sell a home. That's our website. And in the back is the QR code that you can scan just to get directly to our website. So if we don't answer, if someone doesn't answer the door, we're going to leave this on the door. So these are the cards that we hand out to people that answer the door. Just kind of goes over some of the properties in the area that have sold and how much over asking they have sold thought that'd be cool to hand out if we do get people to answer the door and then just leaving the door hangers for people who don't answer the door so so we're out here door knocking in one of the neighborhoods in cranston this is nicole that i was telling you guys about that Hi guys she's also a realtor on my team totally crushing it um so we've knocked on how many doors do you think probably 20 25 i think yeah Maybe a little more. A little bit more. Had some yeah. luck. Well, not like luck, but we've actually had some people actually answer the door, which is cool. Yeah. Um, had some positive conversations with a few people. Yeah. I said they'd be in touch if they need anything and they're thinking about some things. So hopefully we'll hear from them soon. Hopefully. No one has slammed the door on our faces. So that's always yeah, a plus. That's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're probably going to go hit a couple more doors and hope for the best. So, so stay tuned. We'll let you know how it goes. So I just got home from door knocking. It is so hot right now. I didn't realize it was so warm out, um, but we had some good luck with people answering the doors and, and stuff. So we're gonna send out postcards to all of the areas that we hit or that area that we hit. And then um, hopefully people give us a call, but just got home. I'm gonna go get the baby ready and then we're headed off to go pick my grandma up. And then we're going down to my parents' boat to go get lunch at one of the restaurants over there and enjoy this beautiful day. It's only 73 degrees, but I don't know if it's from walking or whatnot, but I am so hot right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna put my bathing suit on or if I'm just gonna put some shorts on and whatever, but. We're gonna go inside, get her ready, get me ready, and then we're gonna go head off and actually enjoy this beautiful Sunday. We're off to the boat. We got little Addie in the back. She is obsessed with like her hands. Every time she is sitting back there, she's like just sucking on her hands. Well, there she is. And then we just picked up my grandma and she is inside grabbing a coffee and Chris is grabbing something for himself. And then we are off to the boat. Look how cute her little bag is that says Addison on it. And look how cute. I gotta show you guys her outfit. It is adorable. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 